Welcome to the virtual learning hub. Uh, I am Manoses. Uh, I am discussing on the topic of Unit 3 IT in action with MIS application of information technology part D. Uh, actually, uh, I am discussing very um, uh, important uh, topic is on uh, telemedicine, Internet of Things, and management information system. Uh, actually, uh, telemedicine is a very important uh, topic in healthcare system. Uh, it has become increasingly popular due to its ability to provide accessible and um, accessible and uh, convenient uh, convenient uh, healthcare services, especially for those who are in remote or under served area. Telemedicine involves the use of telecommunication technology to provide healthcare services and information remotely. This includes video conferencing, remote monitoring device, and other digital tools. Telemedicine can be used for various healthcare services, such as consultations, diagnosis, treatment, and management or chronic condition. There have some advantages and disadvantages. disadvantages. And in the advantage sections, uh, is a uh, convenient. Uh, actually, this telemedicine allow uh, allow patients to uh, receive medicine, med medical care from the comfort of their own homes, which can be particularly beneficial for patients with mobility issues or those uh, living in rural or remote area. Accessible uh, telemedicine can uh, increase uh, increase access to medical care for patients who may otherwise have the difficulty reaching a healthcare provider due to the distance, transportation, or other barrier. Time and uh, cost uh, efficient. Uh, it's, uh, it can save time and money for both patient and healthcare provider by reducing travel time, um, uh, wait time, and other related expenses. Improve patient outcome. It can improve patient's outcome by increasing patient engagement and compliance with treatment plans and by enabling healthcare provider to monitor patients more closely. Disadvantage uh, is limited physical examinations. Uh, Telemedicine limitation can limit it in its ability to provide a comprehensive physical examinations of the patients, which may be necessary for accurate diagnosis and treatment. Technical uh, difficulties. Uh, can arise te during telemedicine consultations, so which can disturb the flow of care and potentially delay treatment. Limited availability, it, uh, there may not be available or appropriate for all medical uh, conditions, and some patients may still require in-person consultations. Privacy and secure concerns, um, Telemedicine consultation may raise privacy and security concern, particularly if the technology used is not adequately secured. In summary, uh, uh, the telemedicine is a, is a healthcare practice that uh, use technology to provide medical care and consultations remotely. It allows healthcare provider to diagnose, treat, and monitor patients using telecommunications technologies such as video conferencing, online chat, or phone call. Telemedicine is a convenient, accessible, time and cost efficient and can improve patient outcomes. However, uh, it also uh, also has limitations such as limited physical examinations uh, uh, and that technical difficulties and raise privacy, uh, security concerns. Telemedicine has become increasingly popular as a way to increase access to medical care, particularly for patients in rural or uh, remote area. And another topic, uh, the Internet of Things uh, uh, is a term used to describe the uh, network of interconnected device that uh, can communicate with each other over the Internet. 
This device can range from simple sensors to complex machine and can conclude can include everything from uh, smartphones and smart watches to cars and home appliances the basic idea behind iot is that by connecting device to the internet we can create seamless interconnected network that can be used to automate tasks gather data and improve the overall efficiency of our lives for example a smart thermostat could be connected to the internet and used to automatically adjust the temperature in a home based on the weather forecast and the homeowner's schedules and there are also some advantages and disadvantages uh, in advantages increase efficiency uh, by uh, automating process optimizing resource uses and reducing downtime improve convenience Uh, it can improve convenience by enabling device to communicate and work together seamlessly, making it easier for user to control and manage multiple devices from a single location. Enhance safety. It enhance safety by enabling device to monitor and respond to the po potential uh, safety risks in real time, such as detecting and alerting uh, user to smoke or carbon monoxide in their home. Um, better uh, data collections. iot device can collect fast amount of data uh, that can be analyzed to identify train make prediction and improve decision making and there have some disadvantages uh, it's uh, it have security risks the device value vulnerability to secure breaches and hacking which can co compromise user privacy and safety lack of standardization which can make it difficult to ensure compatibility and interoperability between different de de device and system uh, data overload uh, which can be difficult to manage and analyze effectively and the cost uh, it uh, the iot device and system can uh, the cost uh, can be high particularly for business and organization that need to be deployed large scale for iot network it is important uh, to know, note that while iot has many potential advantages it also comes with significant risks and challenges that need to be addressed to uh, ensure its safety and effective implementations uh, the in summary sections of iot is a network of physical device vehicle home appliances and other objects that are embedded with sensors softwares and connectivity enabling them to exchange data with other device and system over the internet iot has the potential to increase efficiency improve convenience enhance safety and provide better uh, data collections however it also comes with risks such as security breaches and data overload as well as as a challenge such as lack of standardization and high cost the successful implementations of iot requires a careful consideration of these risks and challenges as well as the uh, deployment of appropriate security measures and standard the another topic is uh, management information systems uh, refer to the use of information technology and management technology to to provide uh, an organization so with the uh, information it need to operate effectively mis is used to uh, manage information resource uh, include people technology and data to improve business operations and decision making one of the key applications of mis is e governance which refer to the use of technology to improve the delivery of uh, government services and information to citizens e governance include the use of technology to automate government process improve communication with citizens and provide citizen with access to informations and services the implementation of e governance using mis can help to streamline um, government process reduce corruptions and improve transparency it can uh, also help to improve citizen engagement by providing citizens with access to information and services such as online payment of tax and um, fees online voting and online access to government documents there are several component of uh, mis that are essential for e governance this includes the information systems these are the technology system that enable e governance this including hardware software and network data management 
here include the storage and analysis of data to support decision making in e-governance. Uh, another is the human research, which includes the people who design, implement, and maintain e-governance system procedures and process. These are the rules and procedures that govern the use of e-governance systems. And one of the key benefit of e-government uh, using MIS is improve efficiency. E-government systems can automate many government processes such as issuing permit and license. Thank you.